Hey there, CG Tinker here. Blender AI Mocap is a Blender add-on featuring real-time hand, face and pose detection using Google's Media Pipe and just requires a webcam. The detected data can easily be transferred to Richify rigs. The beta was great, thanks a lot for everyone joining. By now, a lot has evolved. Hand tracking transfer results now also contain Y angles and the X angles cover the entire range of motion. Also, the hand rotation gets properly aligned to A pose rigs. The face tracking also contains now eyebrow movements and the mouth corners, so let your character smile. When post tracking, there shouldn't be any more stretching issues, also the leg movements now can be transferred, but it's an experimental feature and you might find some fitting applications for it, but I still recommend to transfer without the legs. Also, it would be great if you subscribe to the channel and leave a like, because it really helps out. If you want to give Blend AR Mocap a try, you can get it from my Gumroad. Donations are really welcome and help me to keep up the development, but you can also download it for free. As the add-on requires external packages, you have to start Blender as administrator to install them. To install the add-on, navigate to Edit Preferences Add-ons and install the zip you downloaded from Gumroad. Hit the checkbox to activate it and then press the Install Dependencies button. The installation might take a while and I recommend to turn down your VPN when setting it up. Once installed, make sure you have Rigify enabled as the add-on supports the transfer results to Rigify rigs. But yeah, now let's get to the tracking. You will find Blend AR mocap in the side panel. If you have several webcams connected to your device, you might have to change up the webcam device slot. Otherwise, just leave it at zero. The key step defines at which rate results are getting keyframed while detecting. I recommend to start with a key stop of 4 while detecting hands or face and a key step of 8 while detecting the pose. You might have to adjust those values depending on your device. Now, just let's start detecting. Now, let's transfer it. At first, just generate a Richify meta rig. This one usually gets aligned to the character. Then, navigate to the armature tab and generate the rig using the old face rig. This generation process might take a while and this generated rig usually gets spawned to your character. For presentation purposes, I'm activating the deformation bone layer and change the viewport visibility to textured. This doesn't affect the transfer results by any means, so you don't have to do this at all. And let's now select the hand drivers collection and the rig you want to transfer to and then hit the transfer animation button. Now that looks about right. Let's move on to the face tracking. Basically it's just the same process. Select the face as detection target and start detection. When you are done with detecting your face, select the face driver collection and smash the transfer button again. As we now move on to the post tracking, let's select the rig first and go in post mode. The post transfer results also contain hand orientations. And to avoid weird behaviors, it's better to disable the copy rotation constraints from the IK hands first. You can easily do this by clicking the eye icon. Now only the finger angles are active, which is what we want in this case. Before starting the post detection, make sure to adjust the key step. Let's go with a key step of 8. To transfer it, just select the post driver collection and then hit the transfer button. I will soon publish videos containing specific workflows on how to clean up the data, improve transfer results and also how to work with Richify. So stay tuned. Also I want to thanks for all the support, especially to my Patreons. If you want to support the development and hang out with us, I would be really happy if you join. 
So thanks a lot to you. That's about it. See you around.